because I never really thought about it, about just the atmosphere difference. Even when a baby is born, think about it, how everybody's excited and man, there's, there's, you know, blue and pink flowers and stuffed bears and everybody's coming together in a waiting room full of people that are full of joy, as opposed to, um, you know, a waiting room at Planned Parenthood. Uh, where it's just, I don't know, Lisa, maybe you'd tell a little bit. I mean, Lisa's the only one of us that's had that experience about what that was like. Well, whenever I speak, sometimes I talk about how um, how cold the place was, how dark and dreary. Um, I was not a person. I was a number. And... Um, And even in the back, you know, whenever I got into the back, I had questions, but all I got was lies. And, um, and I feel for these women who feel as though this is their only alternative. They have nothing, nothing else that they could do in order to get rid of get rid of what they would consider to be a problem. And I felt that way. But what I want women to know is that you're you're not getting rid of a problem. You're getting a bigger problem. Right. Because what happened that day has followed me for my whole life for 40 years. And um you know a child to me now um, is always, there's always a reason to celebrate life, no matter how that life comes into being, because God created that life. And if God tells us that he knew us while we were still in our mother's womb, then we're more than just a glob of tissue. Um, we're a life already, and we don't have to be we don't have to wait to be um, born, you know, to come out of our mother's womb. We're already there. We're already alive. And we know, I know from carrying, you know, my other children, I already loved that baby before I even saw that baby. So that's something that God puts inside of us. And um, and even now, I mean, you know, at different times, whenever I share different things, you know, make me upset, but, um, you know, I think the biggest thing is, is that I took that life and then generations of life after that. And, you know, I did that to myself. I allowed that to, to happen to myself. So I, whenever I speak, I want my heart, this, I want this feeling to convey to other women that you have another choice. This is not your best choice. This is your worst choice, and you will live with it for the rest of your life. 